Back in 2019, I decided to run for Mayor of the West Midlands as an independent candidate in the May 2020 election. Then COVID turned our world upside down and that election was delayed to May 2021. Here in Birmingham and across the West Midlands, we're facing tough times. Election day is 6th of May. Who we choose to make our next mayor will decide how we bounce back. Now I'm proud of the campaign I've run, but with one month to go until election day, it's clear that this is a two horse race between Mayor Andy Street and his Labour challenger, Liam Byrne. It's a clear choice. On the one hand, there's Andy, the former John Lewis boss who chose to leave business and serve as mayor, bringing his skills, character and connections to the job. And on the other hand, there's Liam, a traditional politician and Labour Party lifer, who in my view represents the same old politics that I've campaigned against. The future of our region is too important to be reduced to a party political football of red versus blue. It's obvious to me that Andy Street is a man with a plan. It's time to unite around the right candidate. So let's hear from the man himself. Good afternoon, Ashbeer. Lovely to see you. Afternoon, Andy. So, Andy, we've had a robust debate, as mayoral candidates do. Um, but I must say that I've always found you on a personal level to be honest, pragmatic, and an independent-minded leader focused on delivery. So I just wanted to take a, a moment to appreciate what a rare combination that is in politics. Well, Ashbeer, thank you very much for those kind words. And most importantly, thank you for your support. I know it must have been a tough decision for you, given everything you've put into the last well, couple of years now, actually. So I really do appreciate it. And of course, can I just say as well, through the debates we've had, I've always seen you as independent, as the name says, but also someone of principles and you brought great ideas and integrity. And I very much hope some of those ideas I might even steal and we can incorporate them in our thinking going forward. So thank you for your support. So Andy, could you give us a sense of what you will do if you get that all important second term in office? How will you continue the job you started back in May 2017? Well, you're quite right. We have only just started what we set out in 2017 and my goodness, there's so much more to do. But I think in answering your question, I would probably just say three quick things. Number one, I'm going to continue, I hope, to be a chap who does what he says he's going to do. That's sort of a hallmark that I've tried to follow. And if you look at what we said about transport investment, we said we'd invest and we have seven times more than the year before I was mayor. Secondarily, I'm going to continue to work with the government. We need them to continue to invest. Sometimes you have to be challenging to them, but ultimately you have to have a business-like relationship to bring investment in. Most importantly, I'm going to try to continue to serve all the people of the West Midlands, irrespective of where they live, which community they are from. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you very much for your support, Ashley.